this example, we would like to find uh, the, the, the probability pertaining to F distribution. So for this particular exercise, we like to find the area under the curve for F distribution. So F distribution is like that. Um, for the value of uh, the area under the curve beyond 7.5. So that's what we want uh, abstractly. Okay, so we go to our calculator and say second bars to call out the distribution. Scroll down to find the FCDF. That's what we want. And enter. So the lower value is 7.5, that's easy. And the upper value is, uh, we enter the value E99, that gives us a numerical value of 10 to the power of 99 to simulate infinity, right? The denom um, F, F distribution has two degrees of freedom. The numerator degree of freedom is 13. The denominator is 10. Don't mix them up uh, because if you swap them, you're going to get very different results. So we'll keep it as what the question wants. Uh, click enter and then you will get p of f greater than 7.5 is 0 0.0015 that's what we want okay next we have the question of the inverse f uh, which is basically literally the reverse so in this question we are given that the area is Known the area is uh, 0 0.075. Okay, but what we don't know is this point C such that P of F greater than C will subtend an area of 0 0.075. Uh, the curve has numerator degree of freedom 18, denominator degree of freedom 12. So you go back to calculator and say second distribution, second bars, and you scroll down and uh, you're disappointed because you don't see inverse f. So how do you proceed? Well, you will have to upload a program app called inverse f and run it and enter the right tail. So because this is more commonly used. So we enter the right tail as 0 0.075 and then enter the two uh, degrees of freedom, 18 and don't mix them up, 18 and 12. Wait for the calculator to churn out the figure and then we can write down the answer C is equal to uh, 2.2749. Okay. So let's do a quick check. Um, when we press second bars for the distribution and run FCDF, if we enter 2.2749 and all the way to infinity under the degrees of freedom 18 and 12 respectively, we should get uh, a value that is very, very close to 0 0.075. And indeed, okay, so this verifies that we have gotten the right answer.